you don't want it just a dead-end job. This is not a job, a dead-end job that I'm just working. This is a job to create wealth. Named Raymond. Raymond. Um, I really like him as a teacher. He brings you like real life scenarios and talking about just you know being able to survive in the real life world. Sometimes when you do things by books, you don't really get a good um, interpretation of exactly what you need to learn and understand. I'm in a good spirit today. You know, I found my home to have my brokership sponsored um, because that's one of the main things. You got to have a, a broker that you're going to go to that's going to sponsor you um, to receive your license. And you want to go to a place that's going to not just charge you money, but they're going to educate you and help you advance to get bigger or your growth as far as your goals, you know. You don't want it just a dead-end job. This is not a job, a dead-end job that I'm just working. This is a job to create wealth and a foundation for you. But you gotta be in it. Some people say, oh, I wanna do this. One of the main things that I've learned and just in life, if you wanna be successful at something, you can't just really dally with it. You gotta like really put your full effort in it. And you gotta surround yourself with people who's gonna help you reach and get to that next level. So, um, this is my real estate. Down here on 34 feet, the home of the pepper. It's so crazy because when I first opened up this real estate book, there was one of the, there was a clause or something in there that actually caught my attention. And it talks about appreciation, appreciating assets and depreciating assets. And most of us, when we do decide to make some money or get some money, the first thing we do is go buy a car. Or go buy some jewelry. Or go buy some $200 sneakers. Or buy some $300 jeans. And I have been through like all the realms of clothes and stuff coming out that you buy them, you spend 200 or 350 for a pair of jeans, and about six months later, them fucking jeans ain't worth nothing because they out of style or they old. And that money just went to waste. So that is one of the most depreciated things that you can do with your money. See, the whole thing about me doing this career change is not only just understanding uh, that real estate is the key to financial freedom and financial wealth, but it also teaches you the value of money, like what you can do with money. Like you can go out and spend 15000 on the car and totally tomorrow and won't get even half of the money that the car is valued at or, or what you pay for it. But you can spend 15000 in land and come up. Turn that land into 20000 Turn that land into 25000 So this is one of the real reasons why I decided to join this real estate career change and, you know, and, and chase, chase a new career change. Because I keep saying it's a career change because... Uh, I've been doing something different all of this time. As far as, you know, what I thought that was my financial value or what I thought that's gonna take me to the level that I wanna be at as far as making money. Like, you know, I always look at people and look at what they're doing and try to figure out how can I be as successful as they are. Um, 
but the whole thing is just having the knowledge and information. Sometimes we be lack the knowledge and information, or we ain't given the knowledge of information. But we have opportunity to learn. Like, look, you see me? Shout out, shout out to Peacemakers. I got my book bag on, and like I keep saying, you don't have to be scared to learn. You don't have to. It ain't never too late. Cause you always hear the saying, "Oh, it's too late," or "That's too late," or "That's too late." That right there attitude is the attitude that's not gonna push you over to the next level. And you have to be efficient, you have to be determined. Cause we sure be determined for some bullshit for that next pocketbook, that next pair of glasses, that next pair of shoes, uh, popping bottles at the club, all of that fictitious shit that's not building generational wealth. You know, we at the time now that we can understand what generational wealth is. You know, they have so many opportunities, like this computer thing brought opportunities to us, bro. Like you don't have to wait for nobody. You have it all in the palm of your hand and you gotta take full advantage of it. You know, so I'm signing off. Had a great day in real estate class today. You know, I learned a lot. And um, best believe that I am trying to I'm not trying. I am going to advance. Oh, look at my man.